Hello, this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring to you and analyze the biggest sentiment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu What Hi. up? How you doing? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if that question was directed at me. Hi. How are you? Why were you laughing? I don't know. You don't the answer see. was good. Mm-mm. There's more to it. No, there isn't. Don't mind Elsie. Why but is just so that, mm -hmm. Why is it top making it look like you're buff? Mm. I'm buff, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the gym is open, man. This TV is not open, open. yo. Don't go and come back wherever you are going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My Esther gym, actually. That's what happens. Your Esther you gym? Leave. Yeah, when you leave. It's open. It. Yeah, when you leave. Please, what's the name of your Esther gym? Go by him. Leave him. You should be talking. When you leave in a suburb, right? A suburb. Um, yeah. It's so allergic. Anyway. But Moving you on. understand what I mean, right? No. Okay, so when you live in a place where it's fully residential, you're not really bothered about what the government puts out there. In as much as you need to also follow what <laughs> the NCDC... That's, that's no, what I was saying. Wait, wait, you now, can try to deceive yourself to do that. In as much as you want to do the NCDC thing, but um, my gym doesn't allow more than five people in the morning, so they follow the rules, so that's just perfect. They're not following the rules. The rules is to be shut down. Mm -hmm. No, it's the estate. It's ah, your Is the estate apartment. not in Nigeria? The estate is in Nigeria, but would you know what the call service department? What? Did they tell you about service department James locked? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I thought so. Too. Thank you, you see very this, much. This brag, you're bragging here. If we decide to dissect it, it's not end doing it. Well, that's well, just why you're not deciding to dissect it. In is what it? has <laughs> been described as a gender violence crime, South African actress Tandeka Ndelisa, okay, has died. Um, two days after being shot in her own home, um, she was rushed to hospital, but she sadly passed away. Cops are currently investigating and hunting the gunman. Police said they have identified the owner of the gun that was used, but no further information has been released. It's really sad. I know violence against women there was like as rampant as mosquitoes are in Nigeria. It was everywhere <clears throat> and it was bad and it was bloody. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I, I really feel for the family. I feel for her, uh, knowing that it was also like a family dispute gone wrong. Because I know her brothers were involved in the in the fight, and then she somehow got involved, the and there was, was arguing with her brother. Yeah. yeah. It, either ways, I don't think it's enough reason for someone to lose their life, especially someone that had so much potential and was really promising. I, I feel like she was a really good actress. Um, I've watched a few of her episodes. Even there was in, indigenous, I couldn't really understand. I think the execution of her acting was quite fantastic. So it's a shame. It's a real shame. I think a lot of conversation around carrying guns and, in fact, weapons in general in SA needs to be addressed because it's too rampant. And I know it's not legal to... Okay, well, it is, it is, but not the ones that are on the street. I feel like if they kind of start to revisit that um, law in, in reverse to position of arms, it would be good. It would be a good place to start. Either way, may her soul rest in peace. Yeah. I think a lot I have to say about this is um, may her soul rest in peace. Um, in as much as um, we know about violence against women and um, how unfortunate um, activities lead to unfortunate deaths and all of that, but um, I also want to put it out there that she has been a good person and which is what we should always remember in as much as we're trying to catch the killer. I think a legacy she leave and through her movies, the things she has done, a philanthropy and all of that, and which is all I'm trying to remember her for and not the unfortunate way she died, but all the good things. I think she was fulfilled in life and um, I'm grateful to her for living the type of life she did. Yeah, I also just hope that the statement from the police um, would keep on coming. It won't be something that would yeah, um, we'll forget after a mm. um, period of time because definitely they need to find who this person is. And um, I, I kind of feel like they, I don't know, I think this is too much to say in that way. So mm. let me just let that go. But I just hope that they find um, whoever it is involved and the brothers as well and everybody involved well, can mm -hmm. be sincere about it and speak up.
that's how I feel about it. But may her soul rest in peace, like we all have said. Mm -hmm. Now moving on to the next story, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are being criticized for canceling fundraising events after Netflix deal. According to reports, um, the couple were scheduled, scheduled to attend the fundraising event, um, which aims to raise at least 1 million euro for the Invictus Games Foundation. Sunday Times claims it's in his in his report that the event was initially scheduled to be aired on Amazon, which may deem as a direct competitor to Netflix. The Invictus Games, first held in 2014, was created by Harry to focus on wounded, injured, or sickly armed service members who participate in nine sports, including wheelchair basketball, um, sitting volleyball, and indoor rowing. Mm. I think there's been a lot of trolls around the, um, the, the Duchess and Duke of Sussex. And um, I think basically it's because... Are you allowed to introduce them as that name? No. Yes, they, they're still... They? They're not. They? Yeah. I think he is still. No, she's not. They drop. They stop being royal members mm -hmm. of the family, but the title is still there, which is something Piers Morgan has been fighting against, that look. If you guys, there was a time that... Um, Megan spoke about people voting against Donald Trump and Piers Morgan came out on his Twitter page saying that look you're not supposed to be talking about politics because you're going against the treaty between the US and the UK right about not speaking against the political um, parties and all that that if you really want to be partisan about speaking about political stuff then you need to drop your title so the titles are still there they're not just royal members do you understand so people are actually fighting against them ripping off the title completely and um it's also news that um they paid for their cottage at frogmore right mm. which um it's about two hundred and eighty-four thousand pounds or something like that, and that they've paid for the apartment and all of that. And then people are saying that, look, give you a paying off all these things with your Netflix deals. Can you as well just drop your titles? So this is an ongoing conversation about the title being completely dropped. They are not royal. Well, bringing it back to this story anyway. Um, <clears throat> the cancellation. I mean, there are rumors that are saying they knew already about this. Um, um, Netflix deal coming because mm. the cancellation was done a week before the public announcement and mm -hmm. of course people in the space are quite sad because this is a a, a platform or an organization that's supposed to be built on passion and trying to help people but then personally i feel like like you said there's a lot of scrutiny for them and i think they're they're threading a very new path that um nobody has really done it and they have to just find their food for themselves and right now i think for them it's it's a case of choosing between your your livelihood and your passion and it does it mean that at some point the whole um, um, fundraising event or whatever that can be done to keep the Invictus Invictor, game going forward cannot come up and re-strategize? Okay. Yes, but if the deal they have with Netflix is going to be directly affected by them having to stream this event on Amazon, then which it's just the, fair which, which, for them to want to cancel and go back to the drawing board to see how to collaborate with Netflix, um, with That's Netflix the or any other that platform. That has been pushed on the media, yeah. but they've I think they've come out to say say it many times now that has nothing to do with it so when the program Invictus game was scheduled a lot of the revenue was focused on tickets and since covid came it had changed that perspective so this is their words not mine that it has nothing to do with netflix that the netflix deal that they have doesn't dis disturb them from working with amazon quote unquote um, um and Invictus game that it has everything to do with the fact that they have to re well, there's a word he used re kind of like basically remake the whole plan again go back to the drawing board and figure out how they're going to do the program so it's the it's the um, execution of the pro of the events that they've kind of like have their um, worries about obviously you're not going to want to waste money and they don't have that luxury of wasting money per se so i feel like that narrative in, again like you guys have mentioned is a bit of the same stereotypical um uh, approach towards this couple of being really um critical of okay. their of, yeah. of of their works and their actions and not everything was it's not that simple it wasn't because of netflix it was more because they didn't feel like it was going to um do justice they're not going to be able to execute the plans like they had because all their backings were on tickets so i mean it's something that they can look at mm -hmm. and reschedule from what megan has said a couple of times <coughs> on twitter and even to I think it was Daily something one American whatever Daily Mail she, no the other one anyway 
Um, she said in a million times that she still wants to be part of um, the, the event and they still want to work together, but they need to obviously regroup and everything. So getting getting um, another way, it's in, it's in the entertainment industry. It's not just this program or just them. Getting another way to make income apart from ticket sales has been quite difficult. Um, it's not impossible, but you have to obviously strategize to see how you can um, monetize the digital platforms that we have now in terms of streaming performances and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So, a lot so of this is not the first time it's been cancelled. It was supposed to hold in May mm. and it was postponed. I mean, yeah. that was the word used at the time because of COVID-19. Yeah. So mm. this time around, I don't know why the word cancellation is being used, yeah. but I'm still hoping that it's a postponement and there will be re strategizing, like you said, and something can be done, even if it's not on Amazon. The point is raising money yeah. for the people who need the money. So whether it's streaming on Plus TV Africa you or know, anywhere, that's not the bit. point. The yeah. point is make the money that needs to be made. Which is what is confusing for me with this story. Is like, are they not talking to each other? Because that's what the guy from the Invictus game said that even if that's the case where, you know, maybe your your, your Netflix deal is is kind of like counterfeiting this uh, whole thing, he should still be able to raise his hand to help these um, the community and stuff. But then they're also saying that that has never changed. So it's like... I think there's a communication not, gap in yeah, the organization. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not going like to look at it as communication gap. I'm just going to look at it as um, people not realizing, people getting in their feelings and not realizing realizing that their contracts that are binding different deals, right? If I signed for the Evictors game with Amazon and then suddenly I'm beginning to have something with Netflix, there's obviously yeah, conflict. Yeah, but for what if you're saying, that's, that's not, not, not the, case. the case. So it's no, not no, no, because no, you have a deal with, to do with contracts and, right now. Amazon is only the only, they're not the, the lead, the um, champions of this program anyway. The only thing that they're doing is sales for tickets, which doesn't yeah. even exist anymore because you can't get that crowd in um, wherever they wanted to do it before. So mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with that. I don't know why they're not <clears throat> for me, what I'm seeing in the bigger picture is that they're both on the same page in terms of working for the, for the community, which for me is the most important thing. They need to come together and, like you said, close that gap and have a conversation on how they could do that. In as much as we think it's not about contract, there's certain clauses in different contracts. And different but the paper contract, said there's no clause. Diff different contracts with different clauses, different clauses. Fair, do you understand the clause more than the owner of the contracts now? <laughs> they're telling you that that's not the issue. Are you guys going to let me finish? Or okay, but finish. You need to go on a break there. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, when there's conflict of interest there has to be going back to the drawing board which is what they have said and a lot of people feeling that they're cancelling this because of Netflix it's not actually because of that it's because different arrangement has to be made between both parties it's as simple as that so it is still ongoing but there just has, needs to be an agreement between both parties which is Amazon and Netflix and that is what no, is the there can be an agreement between there Amazon would and be. Netflix for them. There's, these are it's two impossible. competitors but anyway it's time for a quick break and when we come back we'll definitely carry on our conversation Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That's how they look myself. Minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Now. On to the next story that seems like a bit of drama. The um, Charlie Boy is asking, is Oyedipo man or God, as he slams Pastor Yibiyomi for cursing Daddy Freeze. Um, and a follow-up on that, Daddy Freeze has responded to Pastor Yibiyomi's um, video, with another video. I didn't think the story was going to blow up the way it did. It's been trending since for, yesterday. Yeah, for quite a while now. Uh, this is a very clear case of... But why would you think it's a blow up? It's religion. It's Nigeria. I, 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 <laughs> I think I didn't expect Freeze to... I don't know. I didn't expect him to milk the situation in the way he did. I, I, I guess so. I think he's experienced a lot of that lately. Mm -hmm. He's one of those people that tries really hard to, you know, think 
without like following the masses and sometimes it gets him into trouble blah 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 but anyway it's a clear case of um, religion gone wrong like we see a lot in this country the first time i saw the video of mr Pas pastor eb <laughs> he needs one he's strike also he's also Mr. Ibi, I mean, don't worry. <laughs> but you know first time i saw that video i just thought the first thing for me that stood out was the the reaction from the crowd i mean sometimes pastors but then i was not said, surprised as well because I, I've seen a lot of cases where sometimes the pastor will say something really off and the whole church will kind of go quiet. It's also like, ooh, yeah, to like threats and things. They said amen. Of, yeah, it was kind of strange for me to be able to see that. That should not be allowed. I'll be very disappointed if there isn't some type of authority that comes into this, this story to warn people that threatening a life is not a joke. It shouldn't be accepted in any way. If not, you are, you are really setting precedence for, for a dangerous type of environment. So for me, it wasn't funny anymore when he started to threaten that. Either ways, um, he needs to also understand that even Jesus Christ was criticized, that you're not bigger than criticisms. And not everybody needs to say something about your religion, your faith, your God that suits you but how you respond is very important um and there's freedom of speech but hate speech is another thing i like this guy's response even though i, I feel like he gave us some oscar performances in between his apologies but i like that he hit the nail on the head and he was quite clear as to even warning people that if anything ever happens to him which is how serious his threat is you know that you know who to go to blah 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 and also, also calling for help as well yeah I kind but of then like that. maybe this is where i want to fair to come in because is that how it works? Coming to the video, say if something happens to me, it's not supposed to go to the police station and file a report and then they get um, the pastor to right. sign something and then that can be held. So if anything, which we are, not, we are hoping that's not the case, happens to Daddy Freeze now, is that video enough to say, oh, he has said if anything happens to me? Is that how it works? We've seen certain videos in Nigeria, so I'm not going to be surprised with men of God. We've seen, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. If anything happens to me, We've seen such mm, I'm just saying going no. by the law now. Going by the law, mm. yes. We've seen we've seen several that's why I'm saying that we've seen several cases of people coming on social media to call mm -hmm. things that they should actually follow protocols mm -hmm. for, right? So um it's not enough, it's but it's 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 a it way is. of putting it, it's evidence that I've put it out there already. Mm -hmm. And then we don't know what steps he has taken about going to the police station to but also okay. say that he probably hasn't told us that, but that is oh, something I think he that mentioned that he's, he's with an ongoing well. Yeah, but with an ongoing investigation, you really can't come out and say these are the steps I've taken, I've taken, I've taken <laughs> like that. You can't really come out to talk yeah. about that. But um, my major concern is what is going on in the religious space. Mm. We've seen conflicts with people that feel like churches shouldn't be open because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We've seen people that are saying that of other churches that have refused to open because they are concerned about the welfare of their congregation mm. are unbelievers. We've seen several things coming up. So I really don't know, like, this is... An institution we have believed in for years. Mm. This is an institution that has kept many souls and bodies together. This is an institution that has put people without faith to have faith, right? This is an institution that has helped many. So I really don't understand where an institution that has shown us unity for so many years to the point that a lot of Nigerians are very delusional when it comes to religion is now the one that are going at each other's truth like politicians mm -hmm. it's really saddening i don't think it's new i just think like it's, every other thing social media just amplifies things and now make you see your life in 10d if there's anything like that mm -hmm. yeah but when i saw pastor biomi's video that was yesterday morning i mean that that was after having to go through erica's drama over the weekend i felt like this is the version of erica having a without, better breakdown without, without, without having to be yes and without <laughs> having to be in big brother and having to say you have one strike mm. you are evicted because that was basically what she was doing as well to lay when she was saying um if i wasn't in the house if i said i'll kill you and i mean threat to life so i'm placing both of them right now in this instance on the same table to say both of you have got the same issues and it's it's quite sad because this is a man that a lot of people look up to i'm not going to say i'm part of those people because i mean his church is not even in lagos or anything like I'm, I don't follow him religiously but he's a pastor and having that tag um, pastor behind you or the title pastor behind your name and the fact that I'm a Christian means that I there is a level of decorum that's expected from your personality right even me as a person just Elsie Godwin picking up a phone now making a video and saying the same 
things that he has said. I'm sure people will send emails to this organization to say she's not supposed to work here anymore. Mm. She's this is hate speech. This is a racism. This is looking down on Somalians. Every point that that is actually raised, even though he was really <laughs> playing to the gallery, yeah. He made sense, yeah. yeah. So I, I hope that there is a higher authority, even though people like this feel like the higher authority is God. So I'm hoping now that Bishop Oyedepo can come into the picture to let him understand what he has done that isn't right, because that's the person he was fighting for mm. anyway, right? So I'm hoping that that higher authority, because for him to want to fight for him in that capacity, it means that he respects him. So I'm hoping that he can come into the picture to make him understand that, yes, you have the right to feel a certain Why type of way. Why do I way. not feel like that? I'm not, I don't you think it will not happen, yeah. right? Yeah. But he is the and, one that and should And it's all this. right for you to feel that way. And I like the fact that you brought in all the parties, plus the one mm -hmm. who was not involved in the threat and the other yeah. ones were involved i like the fact that you have brought in everyone mm. right and um i think this is a part where i will still go back to unity in the religious institution where we all need to come together and remember that, that look we have followers we have a certain influence mm. on people Huge so influence. we can't be the ones dragging each other if we are doing that what you expect the people which okay. we're leading to do <laughs> so i think <laughs> I know you have your reservations when it comes to religion. You want to come but, in? But I okay. just feel like it, it, it's for me. It's just re reiterating the the. Uh, the perspective I have of religious people that they're, they're the ones who create the standard but they are the first people to fail that standard as well mm. for you to claim so boldly tell people what to do with their lives how to make decisions what they say and what's not and then to be exposing your dark dark heart because forget about defending what you people forget about defending the word of mm. God this man had a lot of cruel things to mm. say about quite a lot of people and I, I, I feel like I mean even right now I'm still almost scared to chastise him the way he deserves because they will say he is the anointed but it's it's absolute bs um no. i feel like it those this type of things should be taken extremely seriously because his heart that he revealed to me with the mic he was holding was very dark and well the i also was standing exactly up. and i also need you guys to remember one saying that many are called you are you saying Pastor Ibrahim is not called? I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. I just want you to always no, remember that, that, that many are called, few are but few are chosen. So, who is so called at the end of the day, you need to find out the chosen ones, and then maybe then we'll be able to draw okay. a conclusion. Okay, our time is up. I actually had a question, but we need to go. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also, you can watch Tea Time on Auto TV and, of course, on Ben Television in London. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch this conversation all over again and to get all our exclusive content. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shunke, yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.